bunch of tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, August 19th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Welcome back and happy Thursday. And once again, we're back and better than ever coming at you live and direct with another jam-packed show straight from the RX Muscle Studios. And we're kicking things off today with a segment that we didn't have a chance to squeeze in on yesterday's Recap Wednesday, which is Guy Cisternino announcing his retirement on stage after competing in the Texas Pro last weekend. Guy's pro career spanned more than a decade, and during those 11 years he competed in over 30 contests, collected seven pro wins, stepped on the Olympia stage seven times, and inspired a whole generation of athletes who've come along to follow in his footsteps. All things considered, Guy will always be remembered as a stalwart of the 212 division and as someone who really helped to lay the foundation to help this division grow into what it is today. The man is a legend both on and off the stage and now that he's hanging up the trunks, I'm sure that he'll be equally as successful at whatever comes next. Good luck and happy retirement to my friend. Now, on the offhand chance that you were not one of the people in the building for the Colorado Cup last weekend, then you might have missed one of the better guest posing performances that you've seen so far this year that came courtesy of Brett Wilkin. In case you missed it, Brett hit the stage dressed in full Ultimate Warrior gear as an homage to the late, great John Meadows, who had a whole series of Ultimate Warrior videos on his YouTube channel over the years. One of the other really cool things about this appearance from Brett was the emotional tribute he gave to John at the end of his performance, which really hammers home the point about how impactful John's presence was on so many different people and athletes in the industry. And even though John is gone, his legacy will still live on through his kids and athletes like Brett, who continue to remind us just how special John was. So shout out to Brett for doing this, and I'm sure seeing things like this helps in the healing process for a lot of people. For the most part, it's been business as usual in women's physique so far this year, which means one or two things. Either we're going to go through the whole year without seeing any big surprises, or we're going to go through the whole year and then all of a sudden, all hell will break loose at the Olympia. And if you're a number one title contender hoping to upset the apple cart the way Natalia Coelho is, odds are that you're hoping for the latter. A few days ago, Natalia released a short training clip where we had a chance to get a sneak peek at what she looks like eight weeks out from the big dance. And as far as I can tell or anyone else can tell, she looks like she's right on schedule. Anyone who follows the division knows that Natalia has been one of the two or three best athletes in the sport over the last few years. And whenever you've seen or been that close for that long, all it takes is a tiny chink in the armor for you to be able to break through to that next level. Five and a half weeks out to hurt some names and some feelings. That's the mood in Justin Rodriguez's camp right now as they gear up to make a run for the Arnold Classic title a few weeks from now. And if you've seen the pictures that Justin and his team have floating around, you already know that they're coming into Columbus looking to send a big message. All in all, I think the general consensus is from most of the people that Justin's in the midst of having the best season of his career and he's at that point now where he can hold his own with anyone in bodybuilding in most of the poses. So if he can really dig deep and dial in over the next month or so, there will be plenty of hurt names and feelings to go around before this is all said and done. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.